Um, well, first of all, thank you to the IIC for um, inviting us here, and thank you, Derek, for organizing this panel. Um, I was just going to start with a quick um, overview of the different types of online video distribution platforms, because they come in so many forms and varieties. So it's hard to think of them in just like, one type. Um, even traditional providers of services are getting into internet, the internet video business. For example, Claro Video, a subsidiary of America Mobile, um, which is based in Mexico City, reportedly has over a million OTT subscribers throughout LATAM and is producing its own content like Netflix. Um, subscription video on demand applications can present an option for um, collections of content that may supplement traditional video platform offerings or provide niche focused um, packages such as content in a particular langu language or only sports programming. Mm -hmm. Video sharing platforms like YouTube and, and Facebook Watch allow creators around the world to make and share videos, um, as you expressed, and that represent a vast array of interests and issues, viewpoints, and trends. And they allow a creator located in one part of the world to create large worldwide audiences, as Derek referenced. Um, I can tell you that when I was chief of the Media Bureau at the FCC, inde um, independent content producers often and pretty consistently complained that it was extremely difficult for them to cut any deals with TV networks and cable systems. Um, and even if they managed to get the attention of traditional providers and tried to cut a deal, the traditional providers had all of the leverage over small independents, making deals extremely difficult, if not impossible. And so these new types of services have provided opportunities to, um, to, to break out of that chokehold a bit. Um, I also wanted to address that I think that the various types of services are complementary to each other, and that traditional TV and cable viewing um, uh, can uh, often be alongside traditional view, uh, viewing over the internet, and they can go hand in hand. Take the case of Mexico. Um, from 2012 to 2017, regular linear TV viewers in Mexico grew by 6% from 101 million to 107 million. Over the same time period, online video viewership also grew from 26 million to 37 million. Um, online video advertising expenditures grew quickly over the first part of this decade as these services um, came on board and were playing catch up. But now both linear and online video services in Mexico are seeing steady advertising re revenue growth at about 5% on each. Um, in Mexico, 54% of people are online with another device while watching TV. So I think it's, you know, it's important to think about the fact that the services can exist hand in hand and one doesn't necessarily replace the other. Um, you know, also different types of platforms can create different types of opportunities for creators. For Facebook, video is highly connected to our core mission, which is to give people the power to build community and bring the world closer together. And in connection with that, our value add with respect to video and online video products is the ability to create conversations surrounding video. So for, um, for us, videos on Facebook are really built around conversations, communities, and connections. Um, it's social because we want people to discuss what's happening with friends and interact in real time. And we're seeing that behavior on Facebook today as people watch and discuss videos together, they share videos with their friends, they tag each other in their comments, form fan groups around video content. Um, and for video publishers, these types of services provide an additional outlet, and not just Facebook, but the various types, provide a new way to engage with and build predictable, loyal audiences, monetize their video content directly, and as I mentioned in my uh, earlier, um, expand the pie for video content by reaching new audiences around the globe. And more content is being produced um, than ever before online video um, distributors emerge. And this applies to both professionally produced and user-generated content. Worldwide video content production is up and revenues throughout the world have increased significantly. Um, revenues for Indian film producers increased 38% from 2013 to 2017. Canadian film and television production grew by 40% from 2011 to 2016. Independent content creators earned $3.2 billion on YouTube in, two, in 2016. 
and over a million YouTube creators earned $500 or more on the platform. Um, I know that uh, one topic that's been in discussion throughout various consultations across the globe is the idea of local content origination requirements. And so I wanted to address that um, for just a minute. And although very well intentioned, requirements to provide a minimum percentage of content created in a country or a region can, I think, have to, has to be considered very carefully because it can ultimately serve to reduce the variety of content on the platform rather than increase local content. The absence of such requirements does promote content creation, um, particularly of niche and independent content, and benefits consumers by enabling them to access a wide variety of content. Um, unlike traditional platforms where inclusion of <coughs> foreign content has traditionally come at the expense of local content due to capacity constraints, online video platforms can effectively host unlimited content <coughs> catalogs. If forced to adhere to a quota or rational a, um, a ration, um, choice of platforms would be, the rational choice of platforms would be to reduce the non-local content available rather than increase the local content in order to meet the percentages. This would ultimately serve to decrease the reach of smaller independent creators as other countries impose similar requirements. So put, a, put another way, if those policies were to gain traction worldwide, it would, for example, reduce the spread of videos created in LATAM because local content from other regions would be prioritized in order to meet percentages. And with that, I'll <coughs> hand it over.